are here on the red carpet for Batman and Harley Quinn San Diego Comic Con with Robin and Nightwing himself, Lauren Lester. Lauren, how are you doing? Tonight? I'm doing great, thank you. It's great to be here. How does it feel to be playing the same character for 25 years? It's, it's such a thrill because when we first did the show, we had no idea that 25 years later we'd be on a red carpet you know, being interviewed about this show. We knew it was great then, we knew it was a terrific show, but we had no idea it would have this sustainability. The fact that it has and the fact that we have this huge fan base out there, it's just tremendous. It's wonderful. And those of us that grew up with the show have kids of our own. Well, most of us, I don't. But, you know, and are introducing their kids to this series. How does it feel that when someone that's in, you know, tail end of Gen X or what they're now calling Xennials, bringing in their uh, Generation Z kids to you? It happens all the time. I do a lot of uh, Comic Cons and it happens all the time. People come up and say, I couldn't wait to get home after school to watch your show and now I'm a father or mother and here's my child now we watch the show on on DVD or, or digital download and we watch it over and over and over again together which I think is wonderful and sometimes the kids are really young and they they're, they're not sure you know they're not sure because I don't look like Nightwing you know I'm not in a costume or something and then I'll do my voice and their faces go and that's a great moment because they, they don't understand that there's an actor behind that and that, that moment of realization is really great. Well, you just look like Nightwing, but Nightwing from Batman Beyond now. There you go. I'd like to do, I'd like to do that movie too. That's what we talked to Bruce Tim about, so we're eager for that one. Oh, great, great. To give him the idea. Yes. <laughs> now, you're repraising this role. Is it more of a family reunion than a high school reunion type deal because you guys were so close for so long and the series is still beloved by everyone? And from 25 years ago to today, obviously some things have changed because we've been told this is a comedy and not a, uh, a darker Batman than what it was before. So how does it feel to be doing this series now? Well, it's an action comedy. I mean, there's a lot of action in it too, but it, it is very, very funny. And, you know, being in the studio with Kevin, it was just picking up like, like we never stopped. You know, it was just we picked right up with Bruce and Kevin. We picked right up where we left off. Now, Angelo, uh, Andrea Romano is not the... Second, sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. No problem. Now, Andrea, <laughs> now, Andrea Romano is not the editor on this, voice, ed or voice director on this one, correct? Right. You know, but did you get yelled at the same way by somebody else, the way Andrea w would direct? No, she never yelled at me. Uh, she never yelled at anybody. But uh, she, she would say things like, uh, uh, I'm coming in there to beat you up now, which is... We knew that she was coming in to like give us a one-on-one -on -one direction. Well, you know, she is intimidating, especially at five feet two inches tall. You know. She is, uh, but just wonderful. She was so wonderful to work with. I did other shows with her too, and Wes Gleason does a tremendous job. He was a big fan of the show, so I think again he picked up right where right where we left off. Well, I have a crush on Andrea. That's why I, I keep <laughs> mentioning her. It's that spunk that keeps it alive. And now tonight's the world premiere. Everything comes full circle. You're back at Comic Con. To, you know, to be Nightwing yet again, to be Robin yet again, Dick Grayson yet again. You know, is it surreal or is it just there for the take? Well, you know, it's something I've wanted for a long time and I've thought about it for a long time. And usually uh, in show business, when you want something really bad, you usually don't get it. So I was so pleased uh, and, and surprised and honored that they brought me back as Nightwing because it's something for many years now, I know the fans have been asking me, you know, when are you, we want to see you back as Nightwing, when are you going to be back? And I said, I don't know. And now I can say, hey, come see Batman and Harley Quinn. See, fans do get what they want at Comic-Con. It's true, and I think, I think maybe the fans did have something to do with it. I don't know. Well, coming to digital download on August 15th. <laughs> no, because I kept screwing it up and saying that it came out on August 25th. So digital download August 15th, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack August 29th, Batman and Harley Quinn. And also uh, on the 14th, you can see it on a big screen as a Fathom event, one night only, at a theater near you. Look it up. Now you get to see it on the big screen. What are you waiting for? Thank you so very you much. Bet. I greatly Pleasure. appreciate it. Pleasure. Pleasure.